All right, what is up, guys? Back here with another segment where I put my friend, super geek and nerd Charles, through leg day. One of the most treacherous days known to man. Most people don't train like this. This is probably one of the biggest mistakes you can make in your life, besides marrying someone who's into cats. Just kidding. I actually like cats now. End up, my dog is still like, yeah. You like dogs? Yeah, yeah. He's allergic to my dogs. Yeah, he's it's allergic. Worth it. He, he comes in here and he always pets Z, even though he's allergic. Yeah, totally um, worth it. So we're gonna go through some SSB box squats, it looks like, and then uh, we're gonna do, what we got, hamstring curl? Hamstring yeah. curls, and then uh, hack squats with a bunny squat finisher. All right, so we're gonna tear it up and uh, kind of ask him more questions about his journey, leg training, and it's gonna be good, so let's get right to it. Second Charles, because it looked like you just lost some of your soul in that first time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so first uh, question is how many days a week are you training legs right now? Two. Two? Were you oh, did you always train twice or did you start with like the typical one day a week and then increase the frequency? Or? Yeah, so my first when I first started training at the at my work gym, it was uh, three days a week. Okay. And uh, I only did legs one day. Okay. So um, and I always felt like it just wasn't enough. Um, and then I started upping in, then I started doing more programming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just now I do it twice a week. For sure. Uh, I try to do like uh, quads, quad focused, each session, yeah. at least two exercises. Because uh -huh. it, it'll scale up, by the, at the end of the meso, it'll scale up to four sets. Yeah. So then that's quite a bit, right? It'll be like yeah. 16 sets over the course of the week. Yeah. And then, um, can't even breathe, right? <laughs> I like to say it's like RPE tears, so, <laughs> right? So nine or ten, I'm crying. That's how I, that's how I gauge it. Now. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everyone always is like with strength training. They're yeah. like, they think they need cardio, and I'm like, bro, like strength training is high intensity interval training. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Especially if you like look at your heart rate, like your heart rate goes yeah. up to like 165, 170 on a set, and then it comes okay. back down, and then you hit it again. So you, if you need hit training in your life, just do. Uh, strength training, guys. Come on, man. Last one. Uh. Let's go big. Let's warm these legs up. Come on. Uh. Come on. Let's it up. Come on. Good. Try. Come on. Push, push, push. Good. Come on. Get up, get up. Come on. Let's go, Charles. Let's go. Come on. Good. Oh, nice, dude. Ugh. So, real, real quick, guys, um, even something I noticed with him, and it's his all personal preference. He's telling me he's felt a lot in his quads, and you can see his. Uh, his knee angle is going over the toe a little bit more, okay? So that's gonna put a heavy emphasis in the quads where if he was sitting maybe more back into his hips and down the box, it could probably be a little bit more, you know, uh, push through your chain. So it's, it depends on what you're trying to hit here, you know? If, if your goal is to work the quads, like play around with, uh, you know, how far your knee's traveling over your toes, uh, you know, uh, vice versa. So for him, since it's a quad focus day, you know, he's doing it correctly and that's where he can feel that quad pump and stimulus. So just something for you guys to think about there and didn't work some different variations and uh, just angles of the lift will make you feel it differently. First exercise is done, that's just be box squat. Now we're moving on to a hamstring focus. So we got the lying hamstring curl, which by far is one of my favorite machines that we've added to the gym. 
I've gotten tremendous growth in my hamstrings from using this. Uh, so when it comes to isolation exercises, this is by far one of my favorites. So uh, Charles, what do you got sets and reps wise? What do you think of this? Like why are you structuring these in there? Just give us the, the lowdown. So I'll do three sets of uh, like 10 to 15. Uh, occasionally I will do uh, the myo reps where I'll do uh, like I think up to 15 or 20 and then I take uh, like five second breaks in between. I'll do like sets of five until failure. Um, but uh, I do the hamstring curls. Uh, they feel really good on my hamstrings. They feel real isolated. I used to do a lot of RDLs, um, but I've totally cut them out now because uh, I was doing RDLs the other day and I chipped off the bottom of my tooth. Uh, Not what I thought you were gonna say. On a deload. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so yeah. RPE uh, chipped tooth <laughs> yeah, yeah. on a deload. Yeah, I wish I saw. I wish we got that on video. It was not fun. <laughs> but you're good. You're alive and well. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, no more yeah, RDLs. Yeah. They have to have anything fixed, right? Yeah, just, yeah. They, just fi they just filed it down, but like, now they're uneven. So whatever. <laughs> I wouldn't notice. Let's get it. There we go. Good. Nice. Control all the way down. Good. Squeeze. Come on. Good. That's it. Come on. Squeeze. Good. Nice. Come on. Oh, like an easy set. Yeah, RP easy. What the heck? Too yeah. easy. You gotta add weight. He's apologizing. <laughs> yeah, you better be sorry. <laughs> Freaking wasting your legs' time over here. I know, man. For who cares about my time? We care about your hamstrings' time. That's the, that's the beauty of hypertrophy. You just keep going. You yeah, just add yeah, another yeah. set. Yeah, what's the wrong time? <laughs> The worst to have is you get two jacks. Yeah, yeah, you just had more. <laughs> Beautiful. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you got more. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hold back. Yeah, I'm not touching the butt. <laughs> not touching the butt. Yeah, yeah. Nice. That was solid. So, three sets. Uh, yeah, one more set. You got one more? And then uh, move on to some hack squats. Uh, Love hate relationship with the hack squat machine. It's a torture device. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's like what they did back in the the 1400s. They would just put you on a hack squat. You'd go until your femurs would just snap and explode, and then you couldn't walk, and then you'd just die of natural cause in a couple. He's days. a witch. Yeah, yeah. Put him in the hack squat. Yeah. <laughs> here guys just getting as, as deep as you can uh, we have these mats on this hack squat a lot of people ask about this just uh, because some people who are shorter when they go down sometimes it bottoms out in the bottom uh, so we just add some some mats uh, but you know you guys can play with your foot positioning see what feels best for you uh, obviously the lower you can have your feet you're gonna get really deep into that squat some people like to start up on top a little bit of a wider base if they have mobility problems and then over time uh, typically, they, they'll solve uh, the problem itself just by doing more of them, but you can also move your feet and gradually get deeper and deeper. So, Charles going to get after it, and uh, that's pretty much all he has for the leg session, right? Just yeah. three exercises? Yep, and then I'll be done. So for me, like uh, it was always, I was always deterred in, in going to going to the gym uh, when I was younger. Just battling low self-esteem from being so skinny. I was in high school, six two and like one thirty eight. That was just a rail, and uh, I just battled low self-esteem. When I come in, I just feel real deterred. You know, people, I felt like people were judging me or or, or uh, you know looking at me funny, and it just it just scared me off. Even when I first started here, I started to kind of, I didn't feel like I was being judged, but uh, there's a lot of strong men and ladies here. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's humbling. And uh, I just start to learn to put the blinders on and focus on me 
in my journey because it's di it's different. We're all, we're all different, and uh, I started to feel better. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I, it deters a lot of people. It's just the the initial like getting in and doing it, you know. And it's like, you know, it's so cliche, but life does begin at the end of that comfort zone. So when you are uncomfortable, you know there's growth to be made, uh, and you have to push through that uncomfortable period for a certain amount of time. Uh, before you really start to reap the rewards. So, you know, listening to Charles, you know, I think we all go through it at different places, even me, like, I would have felt that way actually getting involved with jujitsu, right? Something so new to me, and you watch these guys, and there's a 130 pound guy who's making me tap out. Like, you have to put your ego in check, you know, and, and you have to go through that uncomfortable period for some time, uh, but then you start to, you know, feel a lot more comfortable, you start to notice changes, that you're getting better, and it makes it a lot easier. And also realizing, too, like, um, like he had said that everybody's on their own journey. So just focus on your journey, your goals, and you know, do the best you can do. Oh! Help me, man. Come up. Nice shot. What? Oof. Come on. Charles, let's go. Come on, come on. Let's go, you got another. Let's get it. Drive hard. Here we go, here we go. Come on. Push. Nice. Great set. Perfect. Huh. Got right to the point where you're questioning if you're gonna get that rep or not, you know? Yeah, think about it. Yeah, that's where you're in the, the right spot. Crying. Crying, yeah. <laughs> he didn't throw up yet, though. I, I was hoping maybe he would throw up. I didn't eat enough this morning. Yeah, so he, he didn't have enough food in his belly. So next time we get him on here, we're gonna load him up. We're not gonna tell him he's doing a leg workout, but I'm just gonna <laughs> like slam tons of food in his belly and then put him right on the hack squat. We'll see. Like how many reps he does until he just projectile vomits. Yeah, yeah. it'll happen. <laughs> yeah, we're saying. The, I think the second time he was here, he basically like blacked out in the gym for a second doing arms. Right, the arm yeah. workout. Oops. Super sets, arms. Super sets. <laughs> That's you know it's legit. <laughs> you almost black out from an arm workout at the lion's set. Yeah. Are you pushing hard? Are you training hard enough? Are you training arms hard enough? Oh. Ask yourself. Ask yourself. Drive. Good. Uh. Oh, he ain't stopping. He's going ready for some body weight squats. Leg obliteration. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Let's go. Come on. Push, Charles. Come on. One of these legs falling off. Let's go. Oh, come on. Give me five more. Five more. Push. Five. Come on. Four. Let's go. Three. Come on! Yeah. 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 And your heart rate. That's like, like a rabbit. It's like the rabbit go, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, dude, that was, that was gnarly. Yeah. After every last set of your hacks, yeah, yeah. I remember doing those with Dr. Mike. You guys can watch the video link above where I do leg training yeah. with Mike and Charlie. And we did like a set of. I think we had a target number. Is like 50 or 60 squats at the end that we just had to bust out after uh, we did walking lunges. Lunges to squats. Ooh, brutal, brutal. But uh, is that pretty much it for your leg day? Is that we do? Yeah. Sometimes I'll sometimes I'll sprinkle in arms when I'm done. But uh, I did it yesterday because I felt really good uh, towards the end of my workout. So I was like, oh, I'll just do yeah. arms now. But uh, yeah, I, I don't do, so I used to do walking lunges or Bulgarians, but I fall down. So <laughs> I can't do it. But my, my legs start shaking, my legs are so long, I just start getting all wobbly. Yeah, and yeah. Just gets, it just it feels dangerous. So I'll, I'll fall down later, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
That's All right, guys, there you go. So that was our leg day uh, with Sir Charles. He yeah. absolutely killed it, especially at the end right there. Uh, so if you guys are enjoying this series with Charles, kind of, you know, looking through training from his perspective of being someone who's getting into his journey, right? He's about two years in. Uh, he's done massing phases, cutting phases, maintenance phases, hypertrophy programming, strength programming. So it's cool to just get his take on things uh, and just, you know, guide him through this journey and watch how he's training. So really, really proud of the guy uh, and I hope you guys can relate. So as always, guys, if you haven't already, go to the Facebook group, The Iron Lions. Okay, just type in The Iron Lions in the search bar. You guys can uh, request to be in there. We'll accept you. It's just a really cool Facebook page where we do uh, form checks, articles, just a great hub uh, for people who are interested in strength training. We also have a ton of programs on zatstrength.net. We have a program uh, specifically for hypertrophy. It's our number one selling program. And we also have a uh, ton of different programs from strongman to lift specific, so bench, squat, deadlift, overhead press, power building, et cetera, you name it, go check them out. We also have articles, so Coach Matt writes articles every single week uh, that are top notch, so you guys can check those out. Coach Matt's behind the camera, make sure you follow him on his YouTube channel. Type in Matt Malloy, uh, we'll put the channel in the description uh, or just below, Matt will put it right here and you guys can search that and follow and subscribe to him. He is training for an Ironman, like a legit Ironman right now and strength training. So very cool to watch his journey if you're interested in the endurance and the strength training. Can it be done? We believe it can and he's doing it and documenting that. So stay in Lean Mean Strength Machine guys. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.